Guys, Terra Luna Classic has a lot going on this morning. We've got Do Kwan trending on Twitter. We've got new leaders when it comes to the burns that are out there. And the volatility in the price action is absolutely elevated. But I want to sift through some of this stuff because it almost seems like no matter where you go, somebody is just trying to throw some information out there, whether or not it's true and so on. And look, I'll be the first to admit, I don't know where Do Kwan is. I don't know what Do Kwan is doing. I don't know if Do Kwan is stealing money or not but we can look at what's being said and that's what we're gonna be doing in this video we're gonna look at what some of the reports are saying about Do Kwan and Terra Luna Classic and and supposedly over 3,300 Bitcoin that he may have tried to cash out and then what Do Kwan says about it as well and of course how this can affect the price of Terra Luna Classic moving forward so if it sounds like something you're interested in let's get started What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least 6 free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and $1 crypto trade gets $5 in free crypto. Now, if you want a crypto exclusive exchange, you've got KuCoin down in the description below, and they offer rewards for the more active trader. And of course, if you want to support Binance International because they are burning their trading fees, you've got a link for that down there too. But guys, let's talk about Do Kwan for a second. <clears throat> it has been reported, okay, the, by many, many sources, not just a single source, that South Korea is looking to freeze Do Kwan's Bitcoin assets. Because it seems as though after the arrest warrant was issued, Do Kwan tried to cash out on KuCoin and OKX or somewhere, 3,300, a little over 3,300 Bitcoin. That's a lot of money, guys. That is a lot of money for Do Kwan to supposedly be trying to cash out on the KuCoin platform after the arrest warrant. Now, that is what everybody is reporting. Do Kwan, on the other hand, saying on Twitter, I don't know where they're coming up with this misinformation. I never tried to send any money or cash out any money to KuCoin. I haven't used KuCoin in at least a year, and, and these people are just making things up. Look, <laughs> I don't know who to trust, okay? You, you have to look at both sides of the story, though. And when it comes to Terra Luna Classic, we know that Do Kwan has been this central figure now for at least four or five months after, and before that, because he was leading Terra Luna Classic, or Terra Luna at the time. But nonetheless, after the fall, after everything started to spiral out of control, Do Kwan really became the focus. And and when you've got somebody like that out there, it is, it's easy to want to stretch the truth, it's easy to want to get views, it's easy for Do Kwan to say, no, 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 none of that happened. But here's what we do know about blockchains and Bitcoin and ledgers. It's all public, man. And and I wish I had the you know forensic accounting skills to go in there, weed through the blockchain, see if Do Kwan's trying to send any Bitcoin at all to KuCoin and, and cash out and so on. But if you guys do, if you've confirmed it, if you've denied it, please let us know in the comments below what you guys think. But these are the two stories that are going on about Do Kwan right now. And, and how will this affect Terra Luna Classic? <clears throat> A lot of people are wondering. And, and we have to remember that Do Kwan is no longer involved with Terra Luna Classic. Do Kwan is running Terra Luna 2.0. Now, I know there's a very big similarity between the two, but they are completely different coins. They are completely different projects. And Do Kwan is no longer involved with Terra Luna Classic. However, okay, simply guilty by association and so on, people still, for whatever reason, associate Do Kwan with Terra Luna Classic. And because of that, if we get some news that Do Kwan has been arrested, if we get some news that Do Kwan was fraudulent, it could have one of two effects. It could have an initial sell-off because there are people that don't know what they're buying and, and they would imagine that one of the leaders of Terra Luna Classic was arrested or doing something illegal at that point. And we could see a sell-off because of that 
if if Doquan ends up going down that direction and down that path. However, okay, and and this is more of of an optimistic outlook on Doquan and his relationship with Terra Luna Classic. If it comes to light that yes, Doquan is trying to cash out. 3,000 Bitcoin. If it comes to light that, yes, Do Kwan was siphoning money out on a monthly basis. If it comes to light that Do Kwan had anything to do with Terra Luna Classics fall at that point, guys, we could, we could rebuild this blockchain faster than anybody has ever imagined. I mean, think about it. If the reason it fell in the first place was simply one man's actions, and that man is no longer involved whatsoever. Imagine the amount of people that would flock back to Terra Luna Classic. Imagine the amount of people that would believe in this project. And imagine, imagine the amount of support that Terra Luna Classic could see being relisted on exchange after exchange. Having people drive that demand even higher and wanting to be involved in a project that they know has a future. So it, it's really... Uh, a double-edged sword or, or you know, a silver lining around the cloud, however you want to look at it, Do Kwan is an integral part, and we need to see this story unfold and what happens. But you've also, you always have to look at both sides of the story as well, because people all of a sudden, man, they could, they could start writing stories about how Do Kwan is, is hanging out in uh, Singapore with his stepsister and, and this and that, and it, it could be fake news. Right, so just look at what Do Kwan's saying. Look at what everybody else is saying, and make that determination on what you believe is correct, and then the truth will be told. Now, guys, it, this is this is great news, and and all of this stuff playing out because people are still trying to figure it out. They have not left Terra Luna Classic. They are still diving into it, and the story is still unfolding. But just a quick recap on Burns, because we have to give credit where credit is due. We do have a new burn leader for Terra Luna Classic right now, and it is the burn tax. It, it happened in about a week's period, but the burn tax has, has surpassed Lunatic's token. Guys, we can't uh, overlook the strength of Lunatic's token, though, in a sense that they were able to accomplish a, 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 just an amazing feat in a few weeks' period. And this burn tax is, is doing something incredible. But I wouldn't be surprised if Tuesday rolls around, Monday night rolls around, and all of a sudden we have a new leader, and that new leader is Binance. Guys, the numbers for Binance burns are, are estimated to be big, and the numbers for Binance burns are estimated to be greater and take them to the number one spot on their very first burn. I want to know what you guys think about Do Kwan and about the Binance Burns coming up. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. And we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got ClearBro 883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble. KuCoin and Binance in the description. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.